Now for a story you're only going to see right here on 12 News. American legal commentator and television journalist Nancy Grace covered that trial extensively. Nancy spoke to us today about Jody Arias' appeal and says she has faith in the system that will keep Jody Arias behind bars for the rest of her life. She took pictures by accident during the murder and it was on her digicam. Yes, I think there's plenty of evidence. What really pains me is what the family of Travis Alexander must be going through. I mean, will it ever end with Jody Aries? Probably not. When the woman is 85 years old and she's still in the penitentiary, she's still going to be arguing that she's innocent and trying to beat the system. It ain't going to work. The uncertainty of not knowing what's going to happen, but sometimes you have to take a leap of faith and believe in something. And I believe in the system. But I'm disappointed. I'm deeply disappointed. But I believe that Jody Arias murdered Travis Alexander. And I believe she will spend the rest of her life behind bars where she belongs. Now, as this plays out in front of an appellate court, there's only one person happy about it, and that's Jody Arias. The fact that once again, she's in the limelight, in the spotlight. That's what this has been about from the beginning, from the very first interview that she set up herself against the wishes of her defense team and powdered her nose and put on lipstick and smiled at the cameras. Now she's complaining about those cameras. Can you imagine the joy, the glee she must be experiencing behind bars right now? And it makes me wonder if she had that same glee, that same joy, when she murdered Travis Alexander, I, I, I got to know his family, and I saw their suffering. And to be at the trial and be there for Travis, even in death, and now this. So that's quite the juxtaposition. Arius behind bars, gleeful, and his family waking up, dreading the day of this court hearing.